All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time for another Zephyr recap, baby. Yes, sir. So this is actually one of his older ones, and this is his Spider-Man 3 recap, and it's called Spider-Man 3 is a 10 out of 10. Y'all just lame. So Hot Squad, without further ado, let's check this out. Like this, only for Venom to be like, nigga. <laughs> yes, you read the title. By the way, 30 minutes, man. 30 minutes. Oh, man. I'm not baiting you. Spider-Man 3 is the best Spider-Man movie to ever exist. Now, I said in both my Spider-Man 1 video and my Black Suit video that Spider-Man 3 is the best Spider-Man movie. And I'm not gonna lie, I was moving like Jimmy Butler. We promote Tom Foolery on this channel. We do a little trolling. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mean that 100%. But what I will say in Die Behind is that this is the most enjoyable live-action Spider-Man movie. And yes, there is a difference. And I know I said okay. that, and everyone's gonna get so mad. So, oh, how can you say that when Spider-Man 2 exists? And it's like, yeah, Spider-Man 2 clears in every single category. The winner should be clear. If, yep. if I have to choose between both of them... Sure. Now let me explain. This is going to be a long video. I ain't even going to lie. I'm about to put my review glasses on and I'm got to go crazy. So make sure y'all put y'all seatbelt. Got some popcorn Do if it. you haven't already. Because I'm about to go in. <laughs> so for real. I know a lot of y'all after this still ain't going to mess with Spider-Man 3. And that's completely fine. I know a lot of y'all are brainwashed from every single internet reviewer that you have seen within the last 15 years saying this movie is trash. But what I'm going to try to do though is lighten your opinion on the movie the best. I can because it's really not that bad. This video took so long <laughs> to make. I had to redo the entire draft I that see. I made back in April. But y'all just kept asking me about this. Like, you want Spider-Man 3? You want Spider-Man 3? Does anybody care about what I want? <laughs> Shut up. Now first, I'm going to start with the common complaints that I hear about this movie. And I say common with full capital letters because all you niggas is some sheep. Every time I hear complaints about this movie, it's the same parroting opinions. And I mainly hate this about the internet in general. Y'all just be saying opinions you heard from a favorite YouTuber or from someone else. As if you don't have a working brain. Like I know some of y'all don't, but nigga, can you at least try? I enjoy a lot of stuff that gets hated by a lot of people, like Dragon Ball, for example or Sonic or even music artists like Playboy Cardi and my favorite white Teletubby youth. I tend to like stuff that gets hated quite a bit on the internet. And I just hate that every single time I see people talk trash, it's not even right information. Out of all the examples that I listed, it happens especially with Dragon Ball. I can make a whole video on that alone, but we're on Spider-Man 3 right now. And I know a lot of people that speak on Spider-Man 3 definitely seen the movie, but it's really not as bad as people say. People will really put this movie in the worst superhero movies list of all time. Yeah, I've seen a lot of lists of that, and it's not it is not one of the worst. Trust me, it's not one of the worst movies of all time. So yeah, it's not. Um, as if Catwoman oh, doesn't God. exist right? or any right? of them old X Men movies, bro. Because a lot of them stink. And you want to know the main reason why people hate? <laughs> Spider Man Three is missing the nuanced character writing and missing the soul. <laughs> yes, Spider Man Two. Fix this damn, damn door. We get in scenes like this. You think I care about nuanced character writing? Boy, if you don't get... Like, I like Spider-Man 2 just as much as the next guy. But I feel like y'all yeah. take this movie's TV up your booty a little too hard. Oh Not every single Spider-Man movie gotta be Spider-Man 2. I love Tom Holland and Spider-Man a lot, but every single time people complain about his movies, they're comparing it to Spider-Man 2. And it's almost like movies sometimes don't go for the same objective. <laughs> New concept. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, Spider-Man yeah. 2 is True. just a movie that is trying to show you that being Spider-Man is a complete and utter sacrifice. It, it is the best personification of it on the screen. But not every single movie is trying to show that. Not yeah. even all the comics try to show that. And mm -hmm. a lot of these Spider-Man movies do not go for it. Now, if these Spider-Man movies are trying to go for it and it's not as good as Spider-Man 2, definitely you could call out the criticisms. But sometimes I feel like y'all just be bugging. And I love Spider-Man 2 as well. Before Spider-Verse came out, it was my favorite Spider-Man movie for who knows how long. And Spider-Man mm -hmm. 3 definitely isn't even close to how well written this is even compared to spider-man 1 yeah well, people just act like this movie has no redeeming qualities like it's still got some great writing like have y'all never seen this oh yes or this 
This scene especially, Spider-Man forgiving Sandman is like top three scenes ever in a <laughs> Spider-Man movie, in my opinion. It fits Peter Parker so well. And not only Peter forgiving him like that, his friend dying in front of this beautiful ass sunset. I'm crying, bro. This is absolutely peak. Right next to the train scene in the leap of faith. This is yeah. actually scripture. Now, I'm already defending this movie crazy, but just so you guys think I'm not a D-writer, this movie does have some else, and it I'm going to call them out. Yeah. First off, Mary Jane is Whoa. actually disgraceful yes oh my god they made mj such a biatch my god movie one thing i will admit about this movie is the things that i don't <laughs> like are kind of unbearable and she is one of them Bro. and she's everywhere in this movie sadly everybody talks about this scene where peter is trying to genuinely Say empathize about you. with mary jane and she's just like oh, this isn't about you yeah about me. And it's like, I don't know about you, Peter, <laughs> but I don't know what Mary Jane has done to you for you to let her <laughs> speak to you like this. All she has done throughout these movies is cheat in every oh, single yeah. relationship yeah. that she has been yeah. sexually harassed, <laughs> Peter. See, I don't want to be like them dork niggas that say if the roles were reversed. But if the room can be the stock authority to awaken Peter Parker's Jordan Pool badge, and you've got people really saying, oh, this was the golden standard of hero relationships. What? This man, Peter Parker, is putting his life on the line right? for the entire city, and y'all saying the best option that he got is a girl that gonna cheat on him the moment she gets mad? <laughs> Do you know how much he sacrificed? <laughs> this scene, though? Everybody needs help sometimes, Peter. Spider-Man. Genuinely one of the best scenes in the movie. She thinks yeah. she's Food Network because she is <laughs> cooking. Other than this though, Mary Jane is just so trash. She was just okay in the other movies, but in this movie, she is just really oh. bad. <laughs> but going back to the original scene that started this entire rant, it ends extremely funny. Go get him, Tiger. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to something good about this movie. This movie is actually funny yeah, as hell. Like it's all funny. the other movies, you can just make it's fun hilarious. of it. Make fun of it, and it's going to be the most hilarious thing mm -hmm. you've ever seen. But this movie, it's my girlfriend. So dark. Yeah. Ass. <laughs> this movie is actually yeah. just really <laughs> good at comedy. Know. J. Jonah Jameson be cooking in every single movie. Yes. This movie, he's fantastic as well. Although, always perfectly casted. J.K. Simmons. Oh, all our favorite scenes from him are from Spider-Man. Yes. His jokes in this movie yes. are still fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. This movie is just hilarious. Yeah, it Everyone's is. just saying the writing in this movie is not that good, but they cooked in one department. I'll tell you that. People also complain about the fact that this movie covers way too many villains. I don't think that's a problem. I think you could handle all three just fine. It just wasn't executed the best. Yeah, and I like honestly. all the villain portrayals, too. Even Venom. Is he ass sometimes? I like oh, him. God. Yeah, he be oh, trash. God. But I think... Bro, Tora Grace, I really like Tora Grace, but he was so horribly casted. To this day, he is horribly casted as Eddie Brock as Venom. And Tom's Hayden Church's um, Sandman, Flint Marco, perfectly casted. So good. I think he does his role quite well. He's nowhere near the best portrayals of Venom, but yeah. he's definitely not trash. I'll tell you that. Eddie Brock gets a lot of slander, too. Eddie Brock, I think, in this movie was fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's right. He Elizabeth Banks was in this as well. He's a great mirror to Peter Parker. Y'all love these movies more than me. You should know Peter Parker is a dork. <laughs> if he's going to have a... <laughs> like point two three electrons both. Look at that. Look at that. It's geek uh, Negro. Teacher, you forgot the homework face. <laughs> He's cautious, man. Rival figure, he should be a dork too. And I think Eddie Brock fits that perfectly, bro. This nigga's a loser. I love the <laughs> joke that they got when he be walking around the Daily Bugle and he just be smelling. Bro, this is alone straight from muscle, man. Wow. <laughs> and not only that, I cannot hate Eddie Brock just for the simple fact that he is a D1 hater. Because number <laughs> one, there is no way that this nigga genuinely faked a photo of Spider-Man just so he could beat Peter Parker. And that was before he was a villain. Like, is this not crazy? This movie dropped back in 07. Damn. That man was using 07. his old Dell Tower on some bootleg Photoshop <laughs> just so he could get this picture out. For what? This mediocre ass pay? This is 2007. New York, we're getting paid less than a thick chicken per <laughs> hour. It was never that serious. Bully Maguire had to Bully show Maguire. And then Eddie Brock decides to go to church. And I want you guys to realize this is all before he yeah. was Venom. He goes to the church. Gets on his knees right in front of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself. And says, look God, I know I'm not a religious person. But I need you to kill Peter Parker. <laughs> like when Kanye said seek God. He did not mean this. <laughs> like you getting into religion just so you could have a another nigga 
kill gotta be insane. I know you never opened not a single page of your Bible because <laughs> he out here pulling up on. Oh, this must be copyright music. I guess that's why he's muted. Like, what happened? Damn music. Okay. And play my song. Okay. Now. Because I. Brown Styles Howard, yes. Gwen Stacy. I, I did kind of forget she was in this as well. I would love to see her play Spargo, but I knew it had to be the music copyrighted that I had to mute it. No. I was real. I was wondering. Damn well, you see her right mm -hmm. here. Gwen Stacy yes. alone should be making y'all call this movie a 10. Mm -hmm. I already talked about her in my. She's still fine as hell, too. A black suit Spider-Man vid. Well, I'ma say it again because I know damn well y'all ain't hear me clear enough. I don't know what Mary Jane got for Peter Parker <laughs> to still be with her. She must have that Ash Cash <laughs> special. <laughs> That's why I'm going, Mary. I be looking at Gwen and I just be like, she's so Bad. Got me straight serenading my voice. I'm acting out of character right now. One thing about me, if the milk is right, I'm going to be there all night. If I was Peter at that festival, my tongue would have been all the way down her throat. Are you booing me? All right. Eddie Brock is not a bad part of this movie. Harry Osborne, though, I'm not going to lie, they sold him. People complain about him a lot, too, and I kind of see it. I can't lie. Yeah. And it sucks, too, because he started this movie moving crazy. Yeah. You got Mary Jane doing her entire performance, and look at this nigga right here. <laughs> this Inspector Gadget looking ass <laughs> nigga. But he was really hoeing Peter, too. I really love this scene where she talks about the flowers that Peter got her and the ones that Harry got her. It's like, <laughs> damn, niggas with money be so annoying. <laughs> Why you out here with 300k followers following a local girl with 1k? Leave <laughs> food for us. Us, nigga. But he starts the movie becoming the new goblin. He wanted to be his father so bad. You will never touch that nigga's legacy ever, you complete fraud. But anyways, his first fight against Spider-Man was crazy. I really like the fact that because he knows Peter, he can just pull yeah, up at any time. <laughs> and the fact that this fight centers around the ring is fire as hell too. They was boxing OD, but you could tell Peter Parker was off his game. Because yeah, first off, the was. fact that Fraud Osborne got fraud a hit Osborne. on you that got you like this? Nah, I don't know. Harry coming with a little bit of timing. Peter gets launched off the glider. He starts shooting webs at Harry. I can tell this nigga's off his game. Look at how many webs he shot and look at how locked in he's looking. He think he in phase for real. But my dog, you're not even cold enough to join the A team. <laughs> Face ass. Like, bro, look at this. You only hit two shots. And that's not counting what? The 12 you just sprayed earlier? This man got worse aim than flight. Y'all let this slide for 20 years? I had to be the one to say it. Harry is dead greasing this nigga. You got him oh, juggling God. him like it's Smash Bros combos, dragging him across buildings, throwing him through a window. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Fraud Osborne over here is actually moving clean. But one thing about Harry, this man will always get caught lacking. Because how you let Peter Parker sweep you and then hit you with the slung game? I was like, that's <laughs> shit, bro. So Peter hits a lick, gets his own glider, and then speeds off. And Harry's copying his dad. He got chased down right on him. They start yep. playing Subway Surfers in this hole. Peter <laughs> so leads into an alleyway, and they must love playing mobile games. Because Harry moving in this hole like it's Flappy Bird or something. <laughs> tap, tap, up, down, face ass. <laughs> Harry was clearly done playing with this nigga, and he whips off a blade. And this is when I knew that even Fraud Osborne can lock in and get serious. Because he was hot on Peter's ass, slashing left and right. And yep. then when I saw him hit this right here, would have went right through this nigga's cranium. I was watching this and I was like, my fault, fraud. I was not familiar with your <laughs> game whatsoever. This nigga moving like me in Wii Sports Resort. Y'all used to struggle with this nigga? That's tough, man. Watch this. Give that nigga straight strokes. Y'all can't handle me. <laughs> and this is where the fraud and Harry start showing up. Because this man is using these gadgets like them fighting game player newbies. Got that one move and just start spamming it. He's like me with the vine boom. I just got to use it. It's a whole <laughs> shot. <laughs> Unlike me, because I should never put my name in this fraud in the same sentence. This man is just using his gadgets haphazardly. He don't even know what he's doing for <laughs> real. Because even though he clips Peter, there is no way all Peter had to do was turn his controller around and he got you stabbed mm. in the chest. Get a hit with a movement reversal? Look at his neck. This nigga can't box. Nigga watched him fly by as if his gadgets were not following him. Trash ass. I'll <laughs> give you your props. This glide up is clean as hell. And you better take that compliment. 
welcome it to heart because this is the last one you're going to ever get. Because after the way Peter packs you, I can't even say Spider-Man 3 has three villains. Watch this. Cole's on his ass. Boop. Everybody was laughing their asses off. This is tune ass finish to a fight. Everybody was laughing their asses off when he closed on hair with that. You are garbage. <laughs> and the movie sadly uses the worst writing device Jeez. ever exist. Oh. Losing memory. And I yep. hate this so much because there's really no point for this to be in the movie. They just needed to get Harry out the way. I feel like they could have done any other type of excuse. Maybe he loses to Spider-Man and he takes some time off to really play plot something i don't know they could have thought of anything else because again the fact that harry knows that peter is spider-man brings a new sense of danger to him as a villain because he could pull up at any time i don't know if y'all ever played resident evil 2 but I one did. of the best parts of that game is because mr x could just pull up out of nowhere yes, and just God. ruin your run and he'd be chasing you down for a minute too it's the most thrilling thing you could ever play honestly through. yeah it i is. don't know having that same feeling in a movie i feel like would be fire you can make harry a complete menace like when spider-man first fights sandman he gets completely <laughs> packed you could have had green goblin come out of nowhere and do some crazy stuff bro but right when the movie feels like it's going down a normal path harry pulls up and does something crazy i don't know kidnap aunt may or something <laughs> i feel like that would have been a dope role now i'm not a script writer i'm not in there cooking 24 7 so the examples i gave might have been trash but i think they could have done anything else with harry to make him more entertaining instead of giving him amnesia of all things just to get him out the movie for what sandman sandman's good i like sandman yeah. a lot as a character as a villain this yeah. nigga stinks even <laughs> if you wrote sandman seriously i am not taking this humanoid piece of dirt <laughs> seriously you want me to respect somebody with sand powers make them look like gara not this blockheaded buffoon <laughs> but sandman in this movie is actually really good though this yeah, transformation yes. scene i don't yes. really gotta talk about it everybody who's seen this movie agrees that this is one of the best parts of this film, it was, and man. it still looks good to yeah. this day. They still look crazy. at that. They wrote his character quite well, too. His fight with Spider Man for the first time was actually <clears throat> pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. And peep this real quick. You haven't heard. I'm the sheriff around these parts. Peter Parker actually getting good at <clears throat> clips. He's still kind of rusty. I'm not gonna lie. In this exact same scene, he says this. Jigs up, pal. Oh, 1980s head ass. But I'll give you your props, gang. This is better than what you was pulling now, before. Copy. But this fight oh, is really mind. cool. I can't even lie. But it really got me looking at Peter. I'm like, bro, you acting mad cocky this whole movie and you getting packed by Flint Marco? Like, you know it was right when he hit you with this right here. And not only did he hit you with that, he hit you with the Smash Bros. Ness, okay? You're gonna have to throw that suit away for two movies in a row. I physically cannot let this slide. No way this is the Spider-Man y'all been gassing for 20 years bro one thing about the rain movies though this man loves having spider-man swinging through some streets and i love it too every single oh, time yeah. i see it i get straight geeked it be looking so cold every time i don't know how he did it my dog hit some phase aim right on top of sandman literally breaks his ankle and then he straight runs his pockets too right before he can even run with the band sandman lobs him twice had my dog flying face first into a bus and then he meet right back into the van come on now this is your goat my dog spider-man sold so bad it had this e-lister standing up here posing like he did something he wants someone to edit him so bad wait Trip bro into thinking, why am I gonna put him in edit? You are trash! <laughs> but this fight leads me to my next point, the action. I think this movie has the best overall action within the entire trilogy. I now, do. none of the fights in this movie are the definitive best in this trilogy. I still think it's Spider-Man versus Doc Ock on the yes. train by far. But yes. every other fight within the top like 10 would probably be from this movie. Besides the last Green Goblin scuffle. Mm -hmm. It really shows the experience Sam Raimi had at this point because every single single action scene bang all the fights in the first half went crazy every single black suit fight went absolutely insane yeah. i went through every single one in the black suit yeah. video and the final fight i love as well but we gonna get to that one trust i believe i did a recap for that i gotta see my videos if i ever did that recap for um the black suit spider-man's him if i didn't i might react to it soon 
and not just that just the regular action scenes are very good as well when spider-man out here trying to save gwen stacy i love that scene it is yeah. straight cheese because i don't know uh, how dude. this nigga lost control of his crane no super villain involvement or nothing right. he's in there screaming for <laughs> his life it absolutely destroys the building next God to him damn. and all the debris starts falling to the streets and i always found this scene so funny because you really yeah. just be seeing all these civilians get blitzed for no reason <laughs> i said it in the first video someone who's making this movie does not like people from new york but gwen yeah. falls and then spider-man's whole senses starts tingling it's like the only thing uncle ben taught him was with great motion <laughs> comes even greater hose because <laughs> spider-man dies for gwen stacy this by itself is a great scene i love how you can literally hear everything around peter falling due to his spider sense it is so fire but the moment he saves gwen he's like hey yo let me get your digits ma i'm sorry what pull up to the bugle let me breathe <laughs> <laughs> and then he leaves and it's like all right you pulled the moves on the baddie i appreciate you right there but there's only one problem dumbass nigga the crane is still going crazy how did you forget <laughs> knowing this man peter parker he got the only hoe he needed the rest could die for all he cares <laughs> this is crazy behavior but sadly he he he, he, he just like me! Speaking of the action, I cannot talk about action without talking about the black suit. And did yeah. I already talk about the black suit? Yeah, but come on. Are y'all really gonna get tired of me talking about Bully Maguire? I didn't Bully think so. Maguire. This is one of my favorite adaptations of the suit. And even though it's definitely not the best, I still enjoy it a lot within the context of yeah. this movie. Like, I really hate a lot of the flack that a lot of black suit Spider-Man scenes get when it's really not that bad. Like, you see the dance scene, and you will see oh, this God. on every single top 10 worst superhero movie moment list ever but it's like dog have y'all even seen an actual bad movie you guys will defend every single bad thing about the same Raimi movies and be like oh it's so campy but once this scene exists y'all niggas are ghosts <laughs> this is a definition of campy i really don't know yeah, how y'all spent is. four hours of your lives watching the biggest dork of all time <laughs> and then when you get a dork like him to think that he's cool and he ends up acting like an even bigger dork y'all are shocked like done nigga you thought he was gonna be cool they thought he was gonna be spectacular spider-man or something he got the black suit on and immediately started risen this pete is not that guy and even <laughs> then he was still pulling i know you saw the way he was all up on betty brand stop it but yeah i really like this adaptation all of his fights went crazy too i still think spectacular spider-man probably has the best adaptation of the yeah. black suit but yeah black suit is him but before we move on to something else i seriously do not think y'all get how cool Hold this man is watch this uh oh Oh, man! If you see my next IG post and you see me on top of my roof just like this, just know the type of energy that I'm trying to channel. To give y'all a quick rundown yet again of what Black Suit Spider-Man pulls in this movie. This man hits a generational lick back on his greatest op. Straight greased him and had that nigga flush beat in the teenage with the Ninja Turtles. That's tough! He pulls up to Harry's crib just like this. Who, my nigga? Who? Nah. But it proceeds uh, to violate this nigga in his own home. This $300 million ass mansion. This is exactly why I call him Fraud Osborne. Your <laughs> name shouldn't even be on the will. Getting served three pieces of melatonin in your own crib. I'm sending my prayers right now. And he embarrasses Eddie Brock so bad it had this nigga converting to religion. Man lost his hose and his job and he was in the <laughs> choir the next day talking about some Oh, happy day! Face ass nigga. Put your bands up. Spin back! The black suit is so hit me man just watch the vid and then lastly we could talk about peter i like peter a lot in this movie i think peter's hubris coming into full effect in this movie is quite a great step for his character because to be honest if he was all spider-man we would all be cocky as hell at least i would be i'd be out there stealing niggas holes <laughs> for fun trust me I like how this movie actually explores that Peter Parker's getting a little cocky. Spectacular does it a little bit too, and I love it there as well. His mm. revenge and also his theme of forgiveness is fantastic as well. Like I said earlier in the video, him forgiving Sandman is a top three scene. It's mm. such a beautiful cap off to both Sandman and Peter. And Peter just got a lot of great scenes of him just talking with other people. I talked about the Mary Jane scene. Oh, yeah. And there's a few more that I'm definitely going to run up once we talk mm. about the finale which i might as well get to 
right now. And since I know y'all love me commentating, let me put my commentator glasses on <laughs> and we about to go through the entire finale because this was absolutely crazy. Now hmm. let's get right into it. And it starts with Aunt May giving a pep talk to my boy Peter because he knows he was being a hoe this whole movie. <laughs> he looks on the TV and he sees that Venom and Sandman have teamed up asking Spider-Man to pull up. No shooters. ISO. They put the hyphen too. These respectful ass niggas. They hit TYB on Peter and took Mary Jane because even they know if Mary Jane was nowhere within a 30 mile radius of that event, that nigga Peter Parker would have stayed his ass at home sleeping like a baby. He saw MJ and he was like, oh, nah. And he brings out the suit. I'm going to play this with no edits because this was absolutely fire. <laughs> Again, another like what? Top three scene in the trilogy, bruh? This is the first time in the entire movie that the theme plays, which shows how <laughs> lost this man was the entire movie. The Spider-Man theme in the Spider-Man movie does not play for a good hour and 40 minutes. Great direction choice in my opinion, but let's get to it real quick. <laughs> Spider-Man runs right to the field and he immediately gets up there to run the ones. Before this man throws any hands, he gotta throw some ribs first. He pulls up right to MJ just like this. I wanna <laughs> Peter, Peter, this is not the... <laughs> And we got Eddie Brock pulled up as Venom. Now, Eddie Brock as Venom, I'm not gonna lie, he's a little... But he's serviceable. Not gonna complain too much. Peter goes straight at Venom and gets hit with the backhand. Falling straight down, only to get trapped like he Goku and jumped on like he Broly. Eddie's about to start talking and then he gets hit with the... I love how he actually pauses, dude. This is so funny. Eddie's out here talking like, nah, you left me with no hoes, no money, no motion. Done. I'm going to kill you. And then MJ, with her only assist point in the entire season, actually clutches up in some way, shape, or form. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to clap it up for her right here. Yeah. Out of the three movies, this is the only thing that you have not done that did not <laughs> yeah. involve cheating. I have to give you a standing ovation. And Venom yeah, starts geeking. I'm not going to lie. I love his Shrieks in this movie mm -hmm. sounds so creepy. And then Spider Man and Venom start getting active in the middle of Zoo York. This man New York gets slammed all the way to the floor, only to realize that he's been put into a trap. He's getting jumped. Venom starts going absolutely crazy on him, and the way that he's landing on these metal bars, no wonder your back is all messed up. To watching the movie, they sound like they hurt. I always really like this part right here where Venom chokes Spider Man, and then Sandman just starts going oh. crazy on his body. And when you get him jumped, there's really nothing you can do about it. Hmm. And this movie can even make a fraud look like the goat. See, my boy Harry was asked by Peter Parker to pull up and run the fade. But after the way Bully Maguire greased him, if he was even seen next to Peter, it would be an assault to his honor. But once the butler tells him that Spider-Man did not kill his dad, he decides to go in and help Peter. This got to be the only thing I don't really like in this finale because it was literally right there. All Harry had to do was just forgive. Wait, that's how it happens in director's car. I want to watch it. Yo, yeah, yeah, I saw the footage. It took him this, that, this, that damn long for telling Harry what happened to um, Norman. Like, why? Peter. And it wouldn't fit with the theme of the movie. I don't know why you had to bring in the butler. This wannabe Alfred face ass. You're trash. But Harry and Peter hit the cleanest dap up of all time and they start going ballistics. They both start putting in some work. Harry is scorching the life out of Sandman. And they hitting these tag team combos like it's Marvel v Capcom. They cold as hell. Just watching these two fight really puts a tear into my eyes, bro. They are so clean. And when it comes to duos, nobody brings these two up. They cooked so crazy. They had Sandman looking like the fraud that he is. <laughs> but Sandman is still cooking a little bit because he had Peter land just like this. This nigga is trash. <laughs> Harry packs up Sandman real quick only for Peter to get trapped in some horror game. Peter out there looking around just like this only for Venom to be like, <laughs> <laughs> and straight slam his ass. But he got Peter all tied up, and I really like this first hit right here. I don't know what it is, but it's just so clean. He about to send Peter to the Shadow Realm only for Harry to tap in. And Harry once again hitting his head on a metal bar. What is wrong with you? Venom wastes no time. Damn. Look at
at this pose that he does just to strike at Peter. Oh, no. Nah. Yes. And Harry, being the sacrificial lamb, yep. takes the hit for Peter. I love when he screams his name. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's some great shown in business, bro. Right? I don't know what it is about Tobey Maguire, but he is so good at emoting. Even though y'all yeah, be meeting yeah. him all the time, he is really good at what he does. And yeah. I'm gonna sound like an IGN reviewer, but he really makes you feel like Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Come on, yeah. y'all love that one. But anyways. By the way, if you're not seeing his, his performance in Brothers, go see it. It is, hands down, has to be his best performance in his career. He got Venom trapped in this little sacrificial circle and he starts playing him like some instruments. Toby webs Eddie out and then bombs the Venom only for Eddie to go back in because he is nothing without it. And then they both perish. It's sad, but rest in piss, Bozo. <laughs> I talked about the Sandman scene like 15 times in this video, but just know they cooked. And then we got Harry's death scene. I actually like it quite a bit as well. It's also a very good scene, but the Sandman scene just hits so hard. It just don't hit the same right after this. I'm not going to lie. It's still a great scene. Though eight out of ten, and then the movie yeah, ends with Peter reconciling with his main hoe. You know what I'm saying? This movie, I'm telling you, is not as bad as 99% of y'all say that it is. <laughs> I'm telling you, this movie's not that bad, but yeah. <sighs> You see why it took me this long to get this video out? This is insanely mm. long. Now, I done did basically everything. I don't think I'm going to talk about Spider-Man for a minute. I still got quite a bit I could talk about. I still have all of Spider-Man 2 on the table. And there's still like, what, four movies I have not touched on this channel at all? We <laughs> can definitely run it back again. But for the next, like, what, four months? Nah. <laughs> but until Spider-Man 2 come out, I'm hanging the jersey. We'll be back, though. I appreciate y'all for watching, especially if you made it to the end. And I shall see y'all in the next one peace out all right awesome recaps that fire one of your best definitely but yeah for me honestly spider-man 3 is a 7 out of 10 i mean it's not as he's right it's not as bad people did say it was when it first came out back to 2007 which is crazy it's been that damn long it came out but yeah it's not as terrible as people said it was some some people said and yeah, man, uh, this was great. This was great. This has to be one of his longest recaps. It actually was 30 freaking minutes. But overall, every worth it, every minute worth it. So W recap was that fire. Keep up the great work. So Hot Squad, almost done now. So if you enjoy my reaction to Zephyr's recap of Spider-Man 3, please hit that button, comment and share your thoughts. What is your favorite Spider-Man movie? Do you think Spider-Man 3 still holds up as a good movie or a bad movie? Whatever, which is your opinion about it, comment down, let me know. So, all squad, I got one more ZF5 recap um, reaction to do, and that's his Karate Kid recap, which I'm excited to see that. So, all squad, please stay tuned for that.